Hello everybody and welcome to today's uh, tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll be discussing about flutter packages and uh, what are flutter packages or packages in general. Packages are just uh, in programming are simply uh, tools or widgets or function or objects which has been packaged, which has been developed by other programmers and packaged uh of the shelf in of the shelf kind of way so that uh, once you import it you just have to type a line of code and you start making use of uh the pre-built functions and uh processes so a typical example of a package uh uh is is something like pi so when you import the masks max function you you just type pi. Sometimes you just type a, a method or call a function. It automatically returns a value to you. Before now, it has been programmed in such a way that uh, once you do that, you get an output without trying to write a bunch of code and uh, starting to do some calculations and all that. So with that said, um, we are going to dive in uh, into what we have today. Now, the two major files we'll be working with are the main.dat file and the postpec.yaml file. They pronounce it YAML. So here is our YAML file. These are the boilerplate and uh, default uh, things inside. And uh, just like always, I've cleaned up the uh, main.dat file and I already have it running here on my console. So, another thing we'll be working with is the online repository where uh, Flutter picks up its packages. Most of the packages for Flutter are located in this environment. In this environment, pub.dev, pub.dev. So, when we go to this place, we can click on, let's say, Flutter and it takes us directly to the flutter page for us to see the things inside and also you can click on that file and it will take you directly to this place so from here you can search for a particular uh, package which you want to make use of or you can scroll down and look at some of the um, interesting packages which they have or top flutter packages which people make use of on daily basis um, let's say for instance this URL launcher is used to build a kind of web browser directly into your mobile flutter mobile application we'll still make use of this and we'll still learn how to make use of these uh, badges now other things which we might look at are packages which are, are not specified here but we know some some of them though something like share preference is used to store uh, data locally on your device. And uh, HTTP is used to communicate over the internet to push and pull data across the internet and so forth and so, and so on and so forth. So the package I would like us to search for is Panda. Let's just type Panda. Panda, Panda bar, yeah. So, once you search for a package, it gives you a list of packages or similar uh, packages you are looking for. And uh, you can either specify that this is a Flutter package or a Dart package, or you can specify any, in which case it gives you all the packages it can find for that particular search. So this is what we are looking for. So the things you see when you open a package, uh, or when you navigate to a particular package is that you see the readme file when i started using flutter newly or flutter packages i don't usually do this readme file i simply go straight to installing see whatever how to install it and then to example and copy the example i need but then you might run into troubles because whatever notes they've left for you to read and steps they want you to follow are always written in this readme file so endeavor to read the readme file whenever you want to make use of packages so for this now 
let's we want to make use of this package and this is what it looks like when used in flutter so this is what we it, we are going to be making use of we want to import it directly into our project instead of taking uh, hours to build just these uh, widgets we are seeing here we can easily import it and use it in our application so here go to installing it will tell you the version the latest version if you want other versions you can go to version and to, to show you other versions and when they were uploaded so go to installing pick up this and uh, copy it now go back to your sorry go back to your S, uh, vs code or whichever environment you are using go to navigate to your pub spec.yaml file okay i want to clean up this boilerplate so i can see i can have enough space for my for what i want to do so this boilerplate goes off all of them and um i didn't want to clean it earlier so that uh you, it wouldn't look different when you are doing it. So we clean it up and then okay, I think uh, after this, I think it's that's enough. Okay, let's just leave it like that. So it can be you can see what I'm doing. So these are the dependencies. This is where we import it. If you look at this place, you will see that this guy is kept under dependency. So it's telling you that this guy will appear under dependency. So at this point, under this dependency, directly, you can put it directly under Copatino and align it. Make sure it's just a space uh, after the dependency line here. So we can go ahead and uh it's it's already getting it it's already getting it for us it's already running the pop flutter pop get for us and it will tell us once it's already getting it and once it's done getting it it will tell us that it's done getting it so we, you alternatively you can key, click on this place to get the packages so once you've done this, it will download these packages, which normally is located in GitHub repository. And then this is the typical example which they've given to us here. So this is what you will just copy and put inside your main.dat file, and it will give you the same result that you have in the other place. So I go ahead and copy this. To copy everything from here down to this place copy and then since we've done this we go back to our uh, uh, main dot that file select everything and delete so we now paste what we copied and now if we refresh if we refresh our environment by clicking R It's saying uh, it has an error somewhere. Flutter navigation. Okay, so I might need to restart it instead of refreshing. I might need to hot restart it so it will load the whole project uh, in a fast kind of way. So this is what you have automatically. So this is what you get. You don't need to start building this from scratch. You just need to get the packages download it and you get something like this now we want to make use of uh, another uh, package we want to import another package called a uh, url launcher url underscore launcher if i typed it right okay here it is a lot of people have been making use of it that's why you are seeing three thousand and something like here so how do we make use of this? For ISO, they already specify what you need to put in your info.plist file for it to work. For Android, they already put what you need to add into your manifest uh, 
file for it to work and a lot of things which they specified here so you can go ahead and read it and uh that's that so now we go to installing and we copy this package and then once we copy it we come back to our postpec.yaml file just below this we add it here and then you can decide to get packages by clicking here or it will detect this and automatically run it for us so a previous command was running and i went and click it again so it's terminating the previous one and running the second one that i gave to it so okay i think it's done it should have gotten our flutter this by now if we take away this from the road you should be able to see it okay it finished under 11 seconds so now when we go back to this place we now look at the example which they've left for us mm. so what i want to do is i want to automatically i wanted to add this directly into the pandas uh package which we imported but on a second thought i might just uh, have to do away with it and just copy everything the same way they are just to make everything faster and not waste our time so here i'll remove all this code and paste the one that was there now we'll hot restart it sorry this output window we'll hot restart it and then let's see if it will work okay so this is our url launcher so if i open browser it will go to psyclog.com slash this 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 so these are the options they gave us for us to test and for us to copy any section of the code which we want to use so i can launch in a browser by pressing this oh he's saying something no implementation found for method launch on channel plugin. So we must have, uh, we, I think we might need to do what it says in the readme file before we can be able to get it working right. But let's try other ones. You can do launch in app, it's still not working. Launch app in JavaScript, not working. Launch in app DOM, not working. These two, these two link to documentation so something is wrong and what's wrong all these things they talked about here we need to implement them before we go ahead but that will that will be something i will have to show you some other time so for these now let's go back to our packages and uh do some kind of so i'll undo what i did before and uh restart hot restart this application to give me back my panda bar my nice looking panda bar and uh now let me explain what they did here now this is an the normal import which we normally see this is the pandas import these are the packages which you need to import for you to make use of the widget and every other thing in there so what do i want to do let's say for instance um I want to change this icon here. I can do it. I can change the property, the first property of this panda button data from dashboard. I will change it to something like info. So the info icon is what we appear there now. If I refresh, you see the info icon and it's blue. So I can do dot account. and a nice looking icon will appear there as well see and so on and so forth so the the title is blue and the id is blue so now the page is blue here and once i click on any of this it will change state and it will pass the id 
whatever is inside the id it will pass it to the to this and change state automatically so let me change this from yellow this is the one that is yellow here let me change this from yellow to something like brown brown so what happens then what will happen is that this will automatically pass when i click on any of the bar it will pass this id to this place and then it will now pass it down to this container which is yellow here so the now this will not work reason being that reason being that i needed to change something now i've changed the id here to brown and there is no uh, this is a case where i have to change to brown as well so case brown what will now happen is that i have a brown here and i have a brown there so it will be able to detect it and see it so i click on this and uh, i can now do brown here as well just the color and then refresh it's now brown so i can go ahead within this uh, uh container and start adding my widgets directly i can do child scaffold and then it will return a scaffold for me it will return a scaffold automatically for me for this first one so if i refresh this guy sorry green this is green case of green so this is the scaffold i just added if i do app bar app bar it will automatically add an app bar for me here so i refresh to add an app bar for me so i can go ahead and design this the way i like i can add title mobile sorry and add a widget which is test and do mobile tutorial so with that done i can refresh and i have this i can do it for this i can do it for this other container which is blue which is this one i can do it for this i can do it for this and this nice looking button is a floating button so this is where this button is located here a floating button floating action button that's what it's called so for this floating button i can change the icon i can say fab icon i can do uh icons icon icons dot what do i want to put what do i want to put um let me look for something nice okay let's use youtube search for and when i refresh this you see the icon here have changed and i can as well change the the test it displays hello world so before i refresh i click it what's here is fab button pressed then when i refresh or reload this and close this if i close it again you see hello world so that's all about packages you can go ahead and browse through thousands of packages which are available try to make use of it try to uh, explore it on your own and uh, you'll be amazed with the kind of things you will you can or you will be able to build using the flutter packages so at this point i'm going to end the tutorial here and uh thank you for your time